Learner agency is becoming a really important part of education in the 21st century. It's becoming increasingly important that young people actually understand how to manage themselves, how to direct their own learning, and that they understand how to learn to learn. What I like about Hobbs and Point is that they, we get a lot of choice, so we get to choose the subjects that we take, and we still have to cover all of the learning areas like English, Math, Science, but in another school you might be taken to an English, Math, Science class. It's about authentic issues, about looking at how things are in the, in the real world. And we also want to challenge them to go deep with their learning and to engage with very authentic, um, real inquiry and project-based learning. Rather than the school determining the system, we, we are trying to personalise the system for the students here so that they can hook into things that they're interested in. At the moment I'm in a class that's focusing on artificial intelligence and we've got science and social science, so we're looking at how that actually, how it actually works on the inside, and then the the social science angle of it. And it's about well, so what's the impact of this? What does this do economically? What does this do socially for people? What's the environmental impact? It's the the way that the teachers help us to learn. So we'll do the learning, and um, we will be given the work, and then the teachers will give us feedback on the work and how we can improve. Hapara Workspace has been something that we've added recently to our Hapara tool suite and um, we're already finding that um, an incredibly important tool because it adds another layer. It uh, enables us to not only just dish out resources, it means that we can actually manage the whole learning process. You're probably looking at um, sort of 15 to 20 different, different projects going on it would be insanely difficult <laughs> with, without having, having that type of a tool. Teachers do genuinely care and you can tell that they are quite passionate about what they do in here, which reflects back onto how we learn. You're not restricted to certain things, so you can choose how you're learning. Differentiation is ensuring that we're providing different pathways and different strategies to meet the specific needs of learners. And I find students, what we're doing, they take to it because it is their world, it is their digital world. It allows you to provide a level of support and guidance for your learners, but also to encourage um, a real sense of learner agency because no longer are you giving students one set of resources, one set of questions, one set of success criteria. You have this really powerful tool that allows you to really easily manage a whole variety of different activities, resources, questions, and tailor to the needs of your students. The way it works is um, when the students uh, do the inquiry, it's sort of their thing, um, like they're doing it on their own and you know they can get feedback from others and things, but it's completely their inquiry and the teachers are there to sort of um, check up on that and make sure you keep going in a stable direction. It sort of works um, to push you, I don't know, above where I guess you think you can go. So yeah, you can just open your evidence, see what you need to do, whatever the teacher's dropped in, and then it's just there, and I just think that's really cool. We need to be looking at finding ways where we're encouraging students to work with one another and be able to have a way to access and see them working together. And whilst we can do that, of course, face-to-face -face in the classroom, um, things like a para can actually support us to see that collaboration anytime, anywhere.